Welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. This video is about solving another exponential equation. 5 raised to 2x plus 5 raised to 2y equals 2 times 5 raised to x multiplied by 5 raised to y. And we're finding the value of x and the value of y. So before we proceed solving the uh, exponential equation, I would like to say please subscribe, like, and share this video. And feel free to leave me a message for any questions about the video. Alright, so let's do it. So first we're going to rewrite the equation again. So that is 5 raised to 2x plus 5 raised to 2y equals 2 times 5 raised to x times 5 raised to y. And the other way to rewrite these terms is... 5x e squared plus 5y e squared equals 2 times 5 raised to x times 5 raised to y. And now we had to represent uh, 5x and 5y. So we're introducing another variable for those. So let's say let, uh, let a be 5x, 5 to the x power, and b, b5 raised to the y power. So we'll be using the substitution. So by a substitution, we have that a is 5 raised to x over here. So that is a squared plus 5y now is b. So that is b squared. Quals. 2 times 5x, that's a, times 5 raised to y is b. Okay. Alright, so simplify, that is a squared plus b squared is equals 2ab. These terms on the left side of the equation is considered a special factor. In algebra so that is equal to a minus b squared plus 2ab and if we expand this uh, factor further there is there'll be a minus b times a minus b plus 2ab so this is expanded to this, since that is a square right there. So expanding this further by doing FOIL, that is A times A, that is A squared, minus negative B times A, that is minus AB, then A times B, negative B, this AB, and then b times b, that's negative times negative, that's positive b squared. And here, that's plus 2ab. So, if you notice, this ab right there, This, if we combine that, that's negative 2ab. And we have your 2ab right there, they will cancel. So, it will be a squared plus b squared so so if you go back to where we were earlier it will be that's what we had earlier that one right there a squared plus b squared okay so let's go back so we're go we're, so we're going back to this point we were trying to describe how this uh, these terms were expanded to this one right here. So we're going back to this. All right, so this is the value. A minus B is squared plus 2AB. That's the value of this. That's the value of that. So, so we're going to go back to this. To this, okay. So A squared plus B squared simply means in expanded form is here a minus b 
times a minus b plus 2ab. Okay. So now this value, we're going to equate this value there up to the earlier equation that we had. So we're going back to this one right here. Okay. So this is a minus b multiplied by a minus b parenthesis plus 2ab equals 2 times a b. So if you notice, this one is the same as that one right there. So this cancels. And what we end up to is a minus b times a minus b equals 0. Since if we transpose this one to the other side, it will become negative. So it's negative 2ab. So we'll end up canceling those values. So from here, we have two factors that's exactly the same. So that means a minus b equals 0. In the same way, so transposing b to the other side, a is equals b. But since a, since a is substituted as 5 to the value of 5x, and b is substituted to the 5y, so that means a equals to b, and that simply means uh, that is 5 raised to x is equal to 5 raised to y. And since they both have the same base, it simply means that x is equal to y. Alright, so that's the answer. And this x is equal to y simply means that if we plug in these values to the original equation, that will be the value of x and y is all real numbers. All real numbers. That includes negative numbers, negative numbers, 0, and positive numbers. That also includes rational numbers. Those are all real numbers. And to verify our answer, we have to go back to the original equation and substitute the value of x or y. So the original equation now is 5 raised to 2x plus 5 raised to 2y equals 2 times 5 raised to x times 5 raised to y. So considering the value of x, uh, let's say 0. Okay, that means y is equal to 0. So we substitute that. So we substitute this uh, to the original equation to check our answer. So that's the way of checking it. Okay, so 5 raised to 2x, 2 times 0, 2 times 0, plus 5 raised to, to 2 times 0 the same way, because 2 times 5 raised to x, that's 0, times 5 raised to y, is that 0? Okay, so 5, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 5 times 2 times 0 is 0, equals 2 times 5 raised to the 0 power, that's 1, 5 raised to the 0 power is 1. In the same here, 5 raised to 0 is 1, plus 5 raised to 0 is 1 again, and 2 times 1 is 2, 2 equals 2, okay. And if we were to substitute the value of x or y to positive number, let's say positive 1, or let's say negative number, let's use negative 1. So let's use negative 1. So let's say x or y equals negative 1. From the original equation, because 5, 2x, it's 5 raised to 2y, equals 2 times 5 raised to x, times 5 raised to y. Now substituting the value of x and y to negative 1. So 5 raised to 2 times negative 1 plus 5 raised to 2 times negative 1 
because two times 5 raised to negative 1 times 5 raised to negative 1 simplify that is 5 raised to 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 5 raised to the same way 2 negative 2 cos 2 times 5 raised to negative 1 multiplying numbers with the same base so we add the exponent so that is 2 multiplied by 5 raised to negative 1 plus negative 1 that's negative 2 so that's negative 2 so 5 negative raised to negative 2 plus 5 ne raised to negative 2 that's 2 times 5 raised to negative 2 cos 2 times 5 raised to negative 2 so correct that's the same all right if we were to substitute the value of x and y in a positive number we will go the same way let's say x value of x and y we get it uh, positive 2 or 2 we we'll go back to the original equation 5 raised to 2x plus 5 raised to 2y equals 2 times 5 raised to x times 5 raised to y so substituting 2x x or y negative is uh, positive 2 that is 5 times 2 times x 2 times 2 is 4 plus 5 raised to 2 times 2 is 4 cos 2 times 5 raised to x is 2 5 raised to y is 2 so it's equal so once again adding the same base and now this time the same also the same way same exponent so that is 2 times 5 raised to the fourth power equals 2 times 2 times 5 multiplying we're adding adding the uh, exponent so that is 2 raised to uh, 2 times 5 raised to fourth power so it goes the same way all right this just confirms our answer x is equal to y and all the set of uh, real numbers negative zero and positive numbers that's all set of real numbers we have here now x is equal to y and is equal to all real numbers and this includes also rational numbers all right so that's all for today for those new to my channel please subscribe like and hit that notification bell to get you updated on new videos thanks for watching everyone i will see you in the next videos have a great day bye